Okay. All right. We set up. We live? Yes. Okay. This is an eclipse. Oh no. And then bats. Oh no. And then Castlevania, Aria of Sorrow. We're all doomed. Are we? I'm sure these are some sort of foul portents. Because, as it turns out, after I put in my name here, this is the next chapter in the story. Where? <clears throat> the year is 2035. Japan. Crowds of spectators are gathering around in anticipation of the first full solar eclipse of the 21st century. My name is Soma Cruz, and I'm a high school exchange student studying abroad in Japan. I live near the Hakuba Shrine, an ancient shrine with strong ties to Japanese mythology. Mina Hakuba, the only daughter of the shrine's caretaker, is both my classmate and my childhood friend. I started making my way to the shrine to see the solar eclipse with Mina, but for some strange reason the stairway leading up to the shrine felt stranger than usual. Longer than usual, as if something was trying to keep us from our destruction. Finally, when I managed to get through the shrine gate and my senses began to dim, the pitch black sun is holding chaotic darkness together, trying to rouse a sleeping soul as if looking for its missing other half. This is an entirely different type of anime opening. Yeah. We, uh. We've fallen into a different genre. Yes, we have. Oh, um... Hey, looks like he's coming too. Where am I? Whoa, what happened? So, you've decided to join us. Did you have a pleasant nap? Huh? Who the heck are you? It's okay, Soma. His name is Genya Arikado. Skip the introductions. I have a few questions, and I need answers now. Go... go ahead. Why have you come here? Why? Well, Mina and the... Hang on, where are we? We're in Dracula's castle. Huh? Dracula's castle? Are you telling me we're in Europe? No, we are inside the solar eclipse. Inside the eclipse? You're insane! Do you think I'm a fool? Soma, listen to him. He's telling you the truth. What the heck are you talking about? Give me an explanation. Well, it's like this. Huh? An enemy! Damn! Protect the girl! Yeah! Go back to where you came from! So, it has awakened. What? What has? The spirit of the creature you killed has just entered your body. You have the power to absorb the abilities of the monsters you kill. What? Why would I have that power? You have gained the power. Now you must go to the master's chamber. For what reason? Do you not wish to return with your friends to your own world? Of course I want to go back. Go to the master's chamber. Then you will understand everything. But I can't just leave Mina here like this. No need to worry about her. I'll put up a protective barrier. But death will most certainly find those who stay here too long. Th then I... Yes, only you can save her from a painful death. And you, what will you do? I, too, have things I must do within these castle walls. Go, set forth. Both your own life and hers are at stake. Huh. Yeah. So, we're playing as somebody, uh, completely unrelated to everything so far. This is Soma Cruz. Yeah, just Japanese high school student. Yep. Welcome to the opening of every anime ever. He's got a knife. 
And Why does he have a knife? Because he's a Japanese high school student. That's not normal. <laughs> Unless he's a delinquent. Maybe he is. <laughs> um, also, we've acquired the soul of the winged skeleton, which gives us the spear throw. We can just do this. Whip, 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 whip. That's my jump button. Okay, I'm remembering buttons now. Castle Corridor. There's zombies. So we've kind of gone back in time. Not really, but I mean, we're on the Game Boy Advance now. So we've, we've gone forward in time considerably, in fact. Yeah. What the hell happened in that time? We don't know, because we're somebody completely unrelated to everything that's been going on. So, it's been like another hundred years, which, yep, okay. A little more than a hundred years, in fact. Ooh, short sword? That sounds like a sword I can use with my hands. Sword. It's got a longer range than a dagger knife. Hey, this place looks familiar. Yeah! Yeah, Look it at does. That. I absorbed the soul of the gravekeeper. Which gives me a backdash. Okay. I didn't have a backdash before. No, I didn't. Okay. Ow. So I was falling into this uh, pretty easily. Also, because he's a human, he just floats in water. Yeah. Like humans do. You know, un unlike Belmonts. Yeah. Who are uh, conspiring with Satan, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, gaining the power to slay monsters tends to require great sacrifice, I guess. That sacrifice being the ability to float. I suppose so. Uh, we got a cape. Capes are great because they increase your defense by one. Skeleton! You're not getting the souls of skeletons. Not yet. They, uh... There's, there's no map. Um, I mean, there's, there's a map. It's just not filled We have yet. a list of enemies here, including the skeleton. It's a magically animated human skeleton. Ah, and I see it has a checkbox for soul. Yeah. And we have a percent of souls in the game collected. So, are the souls a uh, random drop? They are a random drop indeed. And every enemy that you find has one. Huh. So, every enemy has a unique skill, or a skill unique to it, that you can acquire. Now it's just, you know, as I said before. Ooh, skeleton archer. Sorry, skull archer. There seems to be something up here, but I can't jump. Well, I can jump, but I can't jump high enough. If only we had some sort of way to jump twice. Also, here's a huge skeleton. Creaking skull. It's, Good. uh... More than a skull. I think there's some. There's there seems to be some translation issues here. A little bit here and there. Yay! Yeah. Level up. We know about level ups. We know about end of boss. We know Power about ups. orbs. Yeah. Well, let's be on here. Ah, oh, perfect. Some sort on of map. map. Just what I needed. Yeah. Okay. So the layout is sort of similar to Castlevania's incarnations of past. Mm -hmm. So we know that if we're going to go to the master's chamber, all we have to do is go up. Yeah. Okay. Possibly around through the, the walls in the far right. That usually ends up how it goes, yeah. You have to go to the outer wall so you can climb up. Um, so naturally, we're going to check down because we want to go the opposite direction the correct way. There's a peeping eye. Remember them? Yep. There's also a hidden wall here. That kind of is a mind up, which is an item that restores your empty. Okay. 
uh, tripped on my... Uh, sometimes that happens. So down here is a waterlogged aqueduct type of place. It's got bats and it's got killer fish. But actually not much, except for this! <gasps> Flying in armor. Following speed slows down and jump distance increases. This is a different type of soul. We had the red soul, which is throwing spears, but now we have this blue soul. Ha! Huh. Blue souls are equipped to your R button. Ha! Huh. So, as long as I have it held down, ooh, I fall slower. Can't drain them. Ow! Fish! Fish! That is, of course, the problem with floating, is that you can't not float. Yeah, it's a problem with being human, I guess. Being an ordinary human Japanese high school student. Who can just... instantly and instinctively... Use swords and absorb the souls of monsters. Well, I instinctively know how to use swords, but... Maybe that's just me. So, um, if every monster in the game has a soul drop, that is a random chance. Uh, some, I think, have more rare than others. It's a larger. Let's pull that up right now. Fire. That is a slow attack. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of grinding that needs to happen if you're going to collect all the souls. But we're going to collect all the souls. We gotta collect all the souls. Ah! Where? Yeah, it appears to be one of those classical angels. The lion head and just rotating feet. Jumping across here would be impossible without my armor. Uh -oh. Where is a great president of hell with 50 legions of demons under his command? Zombie has a grenade! It's a zombie soldier. So yeah, we're in the future now. Yep. So naturally there's zombie soldiers. Yeah, we've got these are like World War II soldiers, possibly more modern than that. Yeah. Oh, there's armor up there. Armor. Yeah, let's grab some armor. It's leather plate. Leather comes in plates, right? I mean... You can make plate out of leather. It's not going to be rigid. Potion. We like potions here. We use them all the time. like the right way to go. Mm -hmm. Axe armors. You are the better archer. The advantage of the bow is that you can just move away from it while it's firing. Yeah, I noticed that. That's pretty interesting. Sort of queue up the attack. 
Ah, Bat Soul! Attack with supersonic waves. But Soul of Bat is supposed to let you turn into a bat. This was Power of Bat. Behold my supersonic waves. Yeah, just because every monster has a soul doesn't mean that some of them are really good. Yeah, uh, I, I assume there's going to be some that are just completely worthless, or like jokes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But uh, for the most part, there's some good ones. There's some good ones. Um, yeah, mostly they do what you expect. The monster to do. It's worth it because I got a scarf. Scarfs are better defense than capes because they're warm and cozy. I guess. I like scarves. They're comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> MP in this game regenerates, but at a pretty slow rate. Mm. So picking up hearts is important. Uh, does it work the same as uh, most of the other games, where you break a candle, you get a heart, unless your MP is full, in which case you get money? That's correct. I can make that. I'm sure I can make that. Okay, let's try that again. Armor on. Jump. There we go. No. Well, there's another path. We can take that one. not as mobile as characters past. At least not right now. Well, I mean, you just, you're just starting fresh. That's true. You haven't picked up any cubes. That is also true. But I don't think there is any cubes in this game. There's just zombie souls, which throw hand grenades. And ghost. Just put on, put on a zombie soul. Zombie soldier soul. Zombie soldier soul. Okay. Okay. It's a grenade. I got infinite magical grenades. This is pretty good damage, at least. Yeah. And it's a, a low arc thing that you could, like, throw off of ledges to do Ooh. stuff below you. That zombie had a combat knife. <gasps> combat knife is superior to short sword. I mean, because it's built for combat. Modern built for combat. Yeah. It's not as long, of course, but who cares about that? Ah, skeleton soul. Throw bones. This, this is what we're in for right now. This is it. Hiya. Eat bone, skeleton, just a trade bones, I guess. No bones about it. Just all the bones I threw around it. Okay. Zombies. Regular zombies. 
one of those infinite zombie rooms. That I've heard so much about. Actually, I probably haven't because I'm a Japanese exchange student and it's somehow in an eclipse? In a castle? What is that all about? Well, you climbed the stairs to your Miko friend's shrine and now you're in the eclipse. And who's this Genyo person? He's your rival. My rival in love? Are we going to have some kind of high school duel? I mean, that's the, that's what he looks like. From just this character design, he's going to be your rival. He clearly knows a lot that's going on. Ow! Did a right, multi shot. He's, he's wearing a black school uniform compared to your blue school uniform that you're wearing a white cape over. Yeah. Or cloak. White casual clothes. It's kind of a trench coat thing. I'm going to die soon. Rock armor! Yeah, it's armor that rocks. Oh, good. That's what I needed. Yeah. So. Man, it's good that you've got all these statues of the Virgin oh. Mary around. Oh. Hello there. Uh, hello? You're human, aren't you? Relax. My name is Graham. But let's just say I'm a missionary. Oh, I'm Soma. Soma Cruz. You weren't here in this shrine before, were you? How did you get here? I'm not sure. I went through the shrine gate and boom! I was here. I see. Uh, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. I don't mind. Is it true that this is Dracula's castle? It most certainly is. But isn't Dracula's castle in Europe somewhere? In theory, yes. But his true castle exists somewhere else. His true castle? Yes. It's a well-known fact in the underworld. Do you believe in vampires? Well, uh, no. I thought the story of Dracula was made up, actually. No, it's all true. It was leaked to the outside world. Usually, the church handles these things with utmost secrecy. Over the course of time, Dracula has resurrected many times, when people lost faith and craved chaos and destruction. So, are you trying to tell me now that Dracula has been resurrected? No. Dracula perished in 1999. You know of the prophecy of 1999, don't you? Nostradamus's great prophecy? That's right. Dracula was resurrected exactly as he predicted. But vampire hunters destroyed him completely. They ended his regeneration cycle by sealing his castle, the symbol of his demonic power, inside the darkness of an eclipse. And that eclipse is where we are now? Yes, but there's still more to the story. There's more? In the year 2035, a new master will come to the castle, and he will inherit all of Dracula's powers. But that's... Yes, the time is now. I'd better get going. Is that all, then? Oh, yes, thank you. Farewell, and be careful. Yes, you too. What a strange person who also gave us a tremendous truth bomb right there. Dracula's dead, and has been for over 30 years. I mean, Dracula has been slain and sealed before, so. But now he's been destroyed completely, whatever that means. That's what they said before. <laughs> And yes. his castle is removed and put into some kind of darkness. I got another Okay, vassal. that part is new. 
place is full of water. And the money, apparently. 500 bucks. It's a good thing I'm an exchange student and I know what dollars are. How much they're worth. Dollar is like 100 yen, right? Uh, that is the approximate exchange rate, yes. Okay. Good. I know what I'm doing. I'm so much. Alright, well, there was nothing much down there. Stab a zombie soldier in the knees. Um, what do I have as my soul right now? Skeleton? I'm going to equip Skull Archer because I like it better. It fires straight. Dun, dun, dun. Just this giant corridor where this grand person was. Leading to the chapel! Well, if he's a missionary of some sort, I guess it would make sense for him to go to the chapel. This chapel's haunted! With actual factual ghosts! <gasps> also, Parallax Sky! Hundred dollars lying around. Let's go, oh, oh, wait. Get over there. Oh, oh, okay. Jumped over here. Ah, our friend the bone pillar. Friendship with bone pillar ended. I don't think I've ever been friends with the Bone Pillar, to be honest. Well, sometimes you can stand on it. And that's close enough. Bells. Bells. <laughs> uh, bells. It's your eye. Mind up juice. That looks like a big potion over there. That's too high up though. No! Curse my only one jump. Well, let's take a look at these bells. Oh, they're not. That's fine too, I guess. Big bell. Is there anything over to the left? Let's find out. Thanks. Thanks. It might be. Yeah, you know, like if you actually stand on these bells and get across, then uh, you can get over that little wall that was over to the left. I think that might just drop you yeah. back to like the entrance. Yeah, so it does. Ah! Uh, what's up there? I, kinda looked, I thought I saw something on the ground. Ah! Yeah. It's a bamboo sword! Oh man! You can do your kendo training! It's the first weapon that we have that has an arc. Sobo's not very good at kendo. He's an exchange student, it's fine. That's, that's why he's bad at being Japanese, I guess. Uh, but, 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 yeah, this is back where we were at the start of the chapel. So we're just gonna trudge along and hope to find some way to actually go up instead of these broken staircases. One day we'll find a way to jump higher and... Oh no! Giant ghost! It's gone. It's gone. Also, there's tiny devils. Oh, that was useful. We... All these stairs going nowhere. Broken stairs going nowhere. This place is big. 
only somebody like knew anything about castles. Made a map of the castle. Aha! A tiny devil soul! Creates a blade vortex. Vortex! Vortex to sound good. It costs a lot of MP. That's pretty nice, actually. It's a diagonal attack. You could use it to get that candle. I could, but I wouldn't be able to grab it. Because... Ah, oh, right, there's a platform there, isn't it? Maybe. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 People would have gotten it that time. Yeah. Alas. Uh, so let's go up. Because that's where we're heading, after all. These stairs, which are not stairs. Okay. More money just lying around. No reason for this money. Okay, who would put up a store in here? I mean, if you had the capacity to put a store inside the Eclipse, wouldn't you do it? I mean, I would. But nobody who we've seen so far would. Are you sure? We don't know much about most of the characters yet. It's true, they're all new people we've never met before. I mean, maybe your Miko friend is entrepreneurial. Who knows? That's possible. There's a sword up there. Ugh. I got it! It's a rapier! <laughs> the rapier is not as good as my combat knife. Combat knife is really good. Equip. Combat knife. Killed these. You die now, bone pillars. Um, so there doesn't seem to be a way up this way. This is the far outer wall, so. Not really more places to go except down. Well, maybe the throne is down this time. It doesn't seem like a very Castlevania thing to do. But, let's. Let's try. Good old save points. Wee. So yeah, it's, it's a good thing that you're not, like, playing as your Miko friends, because she wouldn't know what to do with all these statues of the Virgin Mary to say that. Yeah. Be a boss door. Behold, our first boss, a manticore. Okay. That's new. Ow. It poisons. Also, there's these sparky like things. Also, it breathes fire. And you're. Okay, not quite dead yet. Yeah. Alright then. Phew. Good thing we got out of that one. That would have been a nasty scrape there, wouldn't it? Soma's getting pretty good at killing monsters. I found a silk robe. Yep. Where's there actually? Let me see if my memory of this game stands true. Yeah! Aha! Uh -huh. Money! Damn. Box! Damn. It was just a small square over yep. this side of the thing. Should uh, switch back to that combat knife. I should switch back to the combat knife. Um, what did I get? Silk Rogue! That's right. I should put that on. It's armor. It increases your intelligence. Uh, worth it. You need intelligence to cast spells. By spells, I mean all of those souls you have. 
ghost dancers. And whatever the fuck that thing is. Ah! It's Quetzalcoatl, I believe, was what that was called in other game. Yep, Quetzalcoatl. Well, now it's Quetzal... dead... turtle. That didn't come out very well, did it? Well, that's fine, because that's not what a Quetzalcoatl is supposed to be. No, not at all. Quetzalcoatl is a god. Ow. Got hit with a rock. Ow. Up between a rock and a fleeman. Clearly, you need to grind hard and get the fleeman soul. That, that is the important immediate objective. I mean, I could. I could easily just start grinding now. Oof. But we found a way out of the shrine. Of the zombie officer! Officers are even stronger than soldiers. You can tell he's an officer because he has a big sword. Mm -hmm. The bigger the yeah. weapon, the bigger the rank. The study. This is probably a nice place to go and be. Let's check out down here. Get which way I'm supposed to go. The hell are you? Ow, you've got knives! You're an evil butcher! You're a big ghost. You're both dead. Forever. Uncursed potion. It uncurses you, in case you're cursed. Ow. Sure is full of blood. Yeah. Box pushing! Push this down here. It was fun. Bet you couldn't have learned this in your fancy old school. Mm-hmm. You, you still can't jump high enough. Fuck. Okay. Exploring castle. Spider lady! Rapid fire shoots silk! And then fire. Ectoplasm is back. It looks weird though. It's our good old friend, the 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 bleeper, the catablepus. I oh, no, like curse, it. curse strains. Oh no, stone! Oh. Oh, the status effects at once. Oh no, it's slowing everything down. Too many status effects. Ow, your butt hurts. You're uh, about to die. Yeah, I don't know where anything is. Um, I should probably do something about that whole being about to die thing. Yeah, that would be... Ah! I should go to a secret area. That'll have... Melon! A melon! That'll Perfect. help you that's, not die. That's exactly what I need, is a melon. And I'm not a Belmont or anything like that. I don't even know who Belmonts are, so I'm just going to eat this immediately. Yay! That was a full heal. Ow! Well, there goes my melon. Ow! No! No! <laughs> this is the problem with using a knife. It just doesn't have the range. And some more random money. And you're back. Ow! I 
Okay, good. Big heart. Ow! That was my shin. That's a student. Student witch. Is there a save point right to the left here? Is that is that the thing I'm remembering? Uh, I can pull up a map if you want. It is the thing I was remembering. I didn't need to use that melon at all! Well, you did. And that's why you always save items. Soma Cruz learns an important lesson here. She's a cat. Oh, there's some kind of book over there. If only I had the ability to, like that cat, go through small spaces. But alas, I am a mere mortal. Just a regular human without any special abilities whatsoever. I mean, except the one where I can clean so Who are you? Hey, you're... Soma, aren't you? You must be him. D yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Yoko Bernades. I'm a member of the church. How would a member of the church recognize me? You've met Aluka. Um, I mean, Genya. Aricado, right? I did meet him, but... He told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Arikado said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait. Did you say my powers are dark? Oh, you mean you didn't know that? Uh... Oh, no. I say something I well what's said is said essentially you have the power to rule over and command monsters rule over monsters I have no desire to do that it comes as naturally as breathing for you so you may not realize it yet and though I called it a dark power that doesn't mean it's evil it's like a weapon its user decides whether to use it for good or evil well, when you put it that way, I feel a little bit better. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose my sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second-guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. <laughs> I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Have you seen a man named Graham? Graham? Yes, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe that he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way! He did not look like a bad guy. Right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think he is. Uh, alright? Well, I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. This castle is positively crawling with people! The Eclipse must be a popular place! So, we've met a new person. Belnades, in fact. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Minotaur. Distant descendant of Saifa, or at the very least, uh, her family line somewhere? Seems that way. Which would mean that she more likely has her ancestors' magical powers. Also kind of let slip that, uh, Gendo over there was Alucard? You mean Gendo Arikado is Alucard? Hmm. 
Seems to be some sort of demon statue here. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, I gotta go save before I fight a boss. Ow! Stupid invulnerable thing. It's invulnerable, by the way. is terrible in Dracula's ah, point. Whew. That could have been bad. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's... Ow! My shin! Uh, let's... Ow! My face! Let's go fight a boss! <laughs> And not get hit by it, hopefully. Because I already ate a melon. Fighting Catablethus. And there's a much stronger Minotaur right behind him. You're going to get hit by it, though. A lot. Probably. My memory of this game is kind of hazy. Though it is a really good game. For a Game Boy Advance game, its graphics are pretty good. Yeah, this is a uh, pretty solid GBA. What is this? Uh oh. I mean, it's kind of good armor, I guess, but. Whoa! So, uh, it's, it's a final guard? Basically. No, no, it's a great armor. Great armors are like final guard light. Let's get a better soul for this fight. Maybe... Maybe grenades. Yeah, that'll go right, uh, right past that shield. You're out of MP. No, no, my MP! Yeah. We're just we're just doing step a dance here. Forward, step back. Oh no, no, he's backing up further again. Gotcha. Now he's on fire. And it's now <laughs> orb. Orb indeed. Let's see what our prize was for defeating this monster. It's... Whoa, hello. Oh? What's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? A child? You're rude, Grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Hi, I'm Soma. I thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So I just bailed on my mission. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Ah, good for you. There's weapons all over this castle, and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> Shop, huh? I don't get it. Like I said, this place is positively crawling with regular humans. Yeah. Also, an ability soul. Malthus! Hi, Malthus! <laughs> now we have our double jump. Now Malthus will be with you always. Yep. 
I'll probably not remember to thank him every single time, though, but, eh. Anyway, I was fooling around before, but there's definitely something over here. All you have to do is learn how to backdash. Hmm. Ah, the bleeper! Yeah. Blah. Grenade! Blah. Using my modern weapons, I can surely get through this. There's definitely no, like, super ancient, powerful weapons that are lying around. Sure, sure. Those things only exist in... anime. Which this is most certainly not. What the... It's a whip sword. Um... So, welcome to Soul Calibur. It's got really good range, but its attack power is not that great. It's like two candlesticks wide. So, with our ability to double jump, now we can probably get somewhere. Oh yeah, there's all sorts of places you can get now. Soul Calibur it up here. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember using the whip sword too much, but Dude, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Did that student witch just throw a cat at you? Yeah. Okay. If you're a student witch, you can summon a familiar, right? Sure. But. Don't just throw the cat. <laughs> Don't be mean to your familiar. Yeah. With that ass. Yeah. Ah! Dang well, it. Well, there goes my progress. Ow! And as usual, ectoplasms drop uncursed potions. Which you will never use. Never! How dare they curse me in the first place. Oh yeah, I can double jump. Where can I get from here? I bet I could get over there. I've been over here before. Yep. Okay. He had cleared everything that was up there, so... But did I get everything up? Okay, well, not here, because it's, it's not much here, but... Oh. Yeah. So I was getting pretty good at killing monsters that are creepy and larger than him. I guess if there's so many ordinary humans around, then it's definitely not hard to survive this place. Right? Yeah, it must not be. I mean, Hammer there said there's no monsters at the front gate. I should probably go back to the front gate. That's where Mina is. Might be wondering where we are. First, I gotta ram my face and four chest up into this box. I'm swinging my arms around like I'm. Anyway, broadsword. That sounds like it'll be good, yeah. It is not as good as a combat knife. But it's much bigger, I'm sure. I mean, it's a sword weapon. Swords have their advantages. Um, so what we can do is we can probably go up there. If we just take this box. Mm -hmm. Push it. 
Ha! Ha ha! Where'd we find this heart pendant? I remember that. Yeah! It's a heart-shaped pendant. It increases my luck. Yeah. I am definitely going to equip that because luck is incredibly important in this game. I imagine so. Why? Because everything has a drop. Everything has a vital drop. Yep. Ow. Making our way through a castle. Well, actually kind of making our way out of the castle at this point. We're, we're really backtracking through everything. Ow. We didn't go this way before. Yes, we did. No, we did. Oh, then that just looks identical to a place that you have gone. At the entrance. So if we go... Oh, no, wait, no, you, you stepped in there, but then immediately turned around. That's, yes. that's why I recommend Ah. Aha! It's a bastard sword! That'll be better than a broadsword. No? No. Oh, okay. Guess not. For some reason, it uses a different moveset. And, I mean, if we're going by combat power, we should probably just use the knife. Maybe that was a rare drop. It didn't seem that rare. You've gotten two already, so... Exactly. We couldn't have jumped up here before, but with our double jump, we can grab a hammer! Hey, I met a guy named Hammer. Oh! It's your standard hammer. It is big old mallet. Big old mallet. You cannot move well in the attack animation, which kind of decreases its usefulness. But uh, maybe we'll find a way around that. I don't like how the arc is kind of small at the end. It's a little weird to use. Yeah, I can see that. Like, all of the swinging weapons have that weird arc that, like, rather than ending flat forward, it ends at your feet. Yeah. Oh, hey, we can get up there now. Wait, I know how I can do this. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, the speed is just not good. Mm. Enough. Ow. Ow. Big skeletons. Don't forget to use your uh, spells. So oh yeah. They want to switch back to the. I uh... might want to switch back. Yeah. So we have several spells here. Imp was Tiny good. Devil was a good one. Tiny Devil, that was it. Not Imp. Tiny Devil. Ow. Combat back tears through people. Oh no! Yeah! Ghost dancers! You might remember that I said that they were important in a game we haven't played yet. That's because the Ghost Dancer Soul, which is a yellow soul, increases your luck by four. 
yellow souls are passive souls. They huh. get their effect just permanently, as long as you have it equipped. Huh. So, the ghost answer just decreases your luck, which means more drop rate. You got that pretty quick. Yeah! I'm so glad! <laughs> For a moment, I thought that was going to be, like, just a permanent thing that you got and just have forever. Without needing to have it equipped. And that it would be repeatable, and that was why you say you need to kill them a lot. Well... I'll kill them a lot later anyway. <laughs> 